Oi there. I'm the bird watcher. Do you want to come watch some birds with me? All right, let's get. <coughs> Excuse me. Ready? Let's go. Well, today we've got a real f bird for you. A real foul water fowl. Yes, it's actually a uh, seabird. A uh, Jess seawater bird. Yeah. Enjoy. All right, loser Democrat candidates getting rewarded for their incompetence. Oh, you really can't go 10 words without saying something insulting, huh? By teaching your kids. Oh. Oh, if only those incompetent Democrats could have taught you better, then you would have some idea what you're talking about, seems like. It took Lori Lightfoot only <laughs> one term to run Chicago into the ground, and now she'll be teaching a health policy and leadership course mm. at Harvard. Sorry, it's not at Old Miss. Former San Fran DA Chesa Boudin, he was recalled. He's going to start a new job at UC Berkeley after voters had enough of his radical soft on crime policies. And Hillary, or crooked as Jesse calls her, will be terrorizing students at Columbia University. Two time loser Stacey Abrams joining the faculty of Howard University. <laughs> uh, so, Jessica, why would anyone want to send their kids to college when all they do is shelter failed leftists? You know, sometimes you guys make me wonder if you mock people with education or that want to educate others because you're not educated and you don't see the value in educating others unless it's in your Christian religion. Strange, isn't it? It does kind of seem that way. Like you're not very well educated. I think they do a little bit more than that. And do I they? think that there's something... You're not very smart. Yeah. I think there's a lot to be learned from people who have run for office, whether they won or lost, people who have had important jobs, whether you think that they did a great job or not. And I just have already defended the idea of having Hillary in that position and how much it's clear to me that everyone would want to sign up for that class and that is what happened. But like five days ago was Henry Kissinger's 100th birthday. All the glowing op-eds about his time, this is a man responsible for hundreds of thousands dead and millions more negatively impacted, if not dead, from the actions that he took. And people line up to hear him speak when he, when he does it. He doesn't do it as much anymore because he's 100 years old. So I don't want to hear anything about listening to Lori Lightfoot or Hillary Clinton or Chesa Boudin. And hopefully they'll be pushed as well to talk about things that worked and things that didn't work. Fuck. How much did it cost you guys to get somebody with a brain? Oh my God, that's... Did you have to pay more for her than you did to Dominion? Uh, what didn't work is their policies, especially in the case of Chicago and San Francisco. Look at the state those cities are in now. Again, both of them might be past the point of no return. So these are academics putting medals on the chests of bad generals. Yes, yes, you stupid bird. I know you would rather spank the medals onto the asses of these bad, bad generals. These stupid ideas came from places like Harvard. The social justice nonsense, the harm reduction policies, the, all the healthcare mumbo jumbo. It's not mumbo jumbo, it's abracadabra. And yes, liberals are wizards. I'm glad that you're finally figuring that out. De Blasio and, and Lori and all these losers. You're a loser. They glom onto it because it makes them sound smart and compassionate. I too think it's strange that when someone is being compassionate that they're acting compassionate. They win on it, they enact these dumb policies, and then they fail. And then they lose. And so what Harvard has to do is they have to slap a crimson blazer on them so there's not a lot of failed leftists hanging around with their hands out. Ah yes, Harvard. One of our most notable and prestigious institutions. Better keep them away from society, shit. <clears throat> you can't have a bunch of failed leftists uh, sitting around with the skeletons of all of these dumb academic policies that failed in the real world. You have to dress it up.
It's like academic washing. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So what what about Hillary going to oh, Columbia? Yes, Columbia. You know, it's like why why are people signing up for that class? She's a two-time presidential loser, and Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> You realize that that analogy implies that, well, Hillary's not actually a loser. I mean, I will admit she lost, but when you say, and Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself, that implies that you believe that the thing is not true. And you said, and, so you believe the other thing's not true, too. How successful do you think Hillary Clinton is at this point? Wow. As well, and there are other things where that came from as well. We have talked about the Clinton Global Initiative. I mean, that would be one thing you could talk about. Stupid liberals. What are you doing trying to get out there and make the world a better place? Don't you know you can just sit in your house and make YouTube videos mocking us? The thing about Dems losing is that they never go far, right? So if you think about Better O'Rourke, he ran against Ted Cruz. He lost that Senate race so badly. And then his next step was, you know what? I think I'm going to run for president now. Yeah, he lost so bad. That was two whole points. And there was nobody batted an eye. Chester Boudin is going to run Cal Berkeley's Law Research and Advocacy Center. That was immediately after being recalled and run out of town. Ah, uh, yes. Whenever anybody leaves a job and you don't like their policies, they are literally being run out of town by the sheriffs. Um, then you had Stacey Abrams. She did tremendous damage to her cause, but she had a cause, and so she gets to have the T-shirt and get a big contract to write a book. She just wrote another novel. Her cause, which wasn't it to have Georgia have a Democratic senator? Huh. wonder how that worked out. By the way, I suggested that as a dramatic interpretation for the exclamation point show. I guess my... Thoughts boil down to this, that winners get to make policies and losers go home, except for Democrats. They get to go to academia. Yeah, if your candidates were capable in any way of doing something other than grifting their constituents, then they would probably be able to do something neat, like go teach also. Yeah. I think the irony in that <clears throat> is that they would be able to teach if they were educated. Might help. Where they get sweet paychecks and brainwash your children. But academia is home to them. You're not yeah. seeing Mike Pence lecturing <laughs> on what it was like to be it's vice president during a pandemic. It's, no, it's not fair. You could be a failed leftist and get fired and you get to go to Harvard. Mm -hmm. I get fired. I'm at the University of Newsmax. Well, we all hope that you lose your job soon for your terrible takes and perspectives. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, again, it's just repeating what you're saying. It's a benefit of leftism. It's like even if you were, you, there's always a lefty lily pad waiting for you. Yes, yes, a leftist lily pad there for liberals if they need it. But you know, you just pointed out you got yourself a conservative shitty pad that you can hop onto anytime you need to, too. So what's the problem? Even when you're exposed as an intellectual fraud, you know, we will, if I lose my job, I'd probably end up on some board of a corporation, <laughs> maybe be a lobbyist of some kind. But they, uh, oh, I would be a great lobbyist. You would be a terrible I'd lobbyist. Why would you be good? Oh, because I would love the product. <laughs> oh, I know what you're lobbying for. <laughs> What are you Call lobbying me. for? Oh, we know what he's lobbying for. BM soda fountains. Mm. So oh, I don't like, know. Like, a, like personal passion. Personal passion, exactly, exactly. But conservatives get jobs after they lose, too. Like, look at who's on K Street. Look who goes and runs conservative Would think tanks. Would you rather be on K Street or in academia? K Street. Well, you'd make a lot more money on K Street, but academia, what it is has you actually have to, to work. It. In academia, you don't really have to work. You know what the best part about college is? If you go to a class and you have one of those four clowns there as your teacher, not her, one of those four clowns, you can just turn around and walk out. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, it takes about 10 minutes to go and say, ah, uh, yeah, I'm dropping this class. Right. What is well, K and they give Street? speeches. The lobbyists where you're going. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed watching just a seawater bird uh, and the other birds flying around with him there. Uh, come on back next time.